In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Android Auto split screen on your new Pioneer DMHWT 3800 Nex. All right, now I've got Android Auto set up and connected to my phone already. If you need instructions about how to set up Android Auto with your Android based phone, check out the how to set up Android Auto video that you can find right on YouTube. All right, since I have Android Auto all set up already, I'm and I'm on my AM FM radio on my, um, my home screen here, I'm just gonna touch Android Auto. That takes me out to the Android Auto screen. This is the map screen, or I can you know touch the apps and, and see the, the app screen here, and the normal things that you do with Android Auto. But here is a button that you may not recognize on Android Auto, and that is Android Auto split screen. If I touch that, we open up split screen for Android Auto, which is about three quarters Android Auto and maybe about one quarter of the Pioneer interface. Now, if I touch that button again, I close the split screen and go back to full screen Android Auto. Now, I know there are a bunch of you right now saying, hey, I don't have that button up there. What's going on? Number one, this works as of the recording of this video with the Pioneer DMHWT3800 Next. That's this receiver. It doesn't work with any other receivers as of today's recording of this video. And let's check a couple of settings on the in-dash receiver to make sure we're all set up. So let's go back to the Pioneer system. And I'm going to touch the settings here. And let's go down to the Wi-Fi settings. And we're going to scroll down till we find Android Auto. Auto Launch is on. If you want Android Auto to start when you first start fire up your vehicle and the phone and the in-dash receiver find each other, set that to on. And look, here's Android Auto split screen. It's on. If I switch it off, you're going to find that we can't get Android Auto split screen. So let's go back there. So we switched it off and look, no button up there, no button there. So we need to put Android Auto split screen back on. We do that by going to the settings and down to the Wi-Fi settings and scroll down to the bottom to split screen, switch it on. There we go. And we can get right back to Android Auto. All right, so you can see this is Google Maps or whatever map navigation software you like. You can go into split screen by touching up there and we can change our view of whatever we want to do. The great thing about split screen is that when I'm listening to the AM FM radio or some other source from the in-dash receiver, so not music through Android Auto, but music through AM FM radio or some other source, I can adjust that music. Here, I can change the radio station. I don't need to go out to the Pioneer system to do that. All I had to do is open split screen and adjust the radio station. And if your vehicle uses uh, on-screen climate controls, this is a huge advantage for you because you don't have to go out to the system and into, into climate controls. Here, you can adjust the temperature in the vehicle right here. So this is the driver's position. We can make the temperature a little warmer. Uh, we can do auto or dual, dual or single setup here. And very simple, or if you want, you can open the full climate controls with the touch of a single button, make any adjustments that you want here. And when you're done, you can hit the X to go right back into Android Auto. Say, you don't like Android Auto split screen, you wanna have full screen, fine. Touch the button here and take it back to full screen. That's Android Auto split screen. It works on Pioneer DMHWT 3800 next.